Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Becky. Nice to meet you. If this is your first time meeting me, this is my first video actually. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to deal with stress, how to um, overcome it because that's something that a lot of us go through doing our careers or starting our careers or studying. <laughs> We're all doing a lot so it's really important for us to know how to de-stress and not just have it on our shoulders because stress can cause a lot of illness and it can really just be heavy on the brain. Um, I've been through quite a lot in my life um, in terms of like stress. I've, I mean, I sing, I'm helping at church, I'm working and I'm studying. So you can imagine sometimes I'm just like, ah! So yeah, today I wanna kind of like give some tips that I've kind of, you know, used in my daily life. The first tip that I would recommend would be to make a list, write down everything that you need to do, or write down anything that is stressing you out and look for a solution. Um, some of my suggestions would be maybe going and telling someone that may be able to help you or reading up on it. Um, I had a lot to do the other day and I felt like I was in a whirlwind. So what I did was I kind of wrote down everything and then I kind of wrote out names of people who I knew that could help me. And then I put out like, when I want to get those things sorted by and um, how I can maybe go about it and yeah just look for different ways and it was really really helpful and I felt a little bit like because <sighs> that's what you want to be feeling like after you find ways to cope with stress you don't want to be still more stressed after trying to do a stress you want to be going <sighs> The second tip would be to take a moment in the stress and think about something great that's happened, something that maybe made you feel happy or um, something that you've done for someone else or maybe um, something that someone done for you and it was so amazing that you just smiled <laughs> or you just sat there and you were like, oh, I'm so happy. Like, maybe just take maybe five minutes could put a timer on your phone and just do that three light a candle um something that maybe smells nice um and grab a book or a magazine or your phone look at something that's positive to read just to have a break from the stress and um, sometimes i find lighting candles it just changes my whole thinking and my mood because it's just oh that smells so nice it's just a distraction away from the stress so you can again be like <sighs> um with a candle you can also get a um another incense kind of vape get some fragrance oils um, maybe get like a um, like a steamer or an air vapor, not vape, but like an air. I don't know. What they, I don't really need to find out what it is. It's really disgusting. I have like one, and I don't even know what it's called. But <laughs> I put water in it. Let me get it. So this is it. You get one of these and some incense oil. Pour it inside some water. But put the water up to about here. And then what it does is like steam comes out and it starts making the room smell amazing. I will find out what the name is for this. But you can buy these from Muji, they're about 59 pounds. The price might have gone up because I got this about a year or two ago. Um, yeah, it's really amazing actually. And you can put it on for about 30, 60 or 120, 180 minutes. And um, I've got eucalyptus cut because I feel like eucalyptus is like, eucalyptus is the best in my opinion. It just smells so fresh and it smells like a walk through a magical forest. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> you get that one. <laughs> Number four would be exercise. You could 
do some exercise in your house, you can find maybe a YouTube clip that's like 15 minutes of exercise. Um, that's something I used to do before I signed up to the gym. And again, yeah, you can sign up to the gym. Um, if you're a student, you can get a discount. If you're not a student, then God bless you, pay for the full thing. Don't try sneaking with your friend card. Come on, man, let's support people's businesses. <laughs> yeah, going to the gym, maybe I would suggest maybe one to two days a week is a good, 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 good thing to do. So going back to um, taking a moment to kind of think about something that's, that's good that's happened. I would say maybe pray just to add to that because I feel like prayer really kind of centers you back and it's like telling all your problems to God and he can resolve them. But just praying and just putting it like this rather than like, yeah, not cute. I would say watch your comedy for number four and um, you could do this by going out with your friends. You could, yeah, sit up a night where you go watch your comedy, see some comedians, or you could watch on Netflix or, um you could maybe see if there's anything out in the cinema which is great um sometimes going to the cinema is quite a good way to kind of like um change your atmosphere i feel like when i've been really stressed out like i'll change my atmosphere i'm like okay i'm stressed i need to do something other than this stress i need to pause from this stress so let me just go and go cinema or go to my friend's house or go and do something to take my mind off this stress because at the end of the day you're still living and you can be stressed or you can live I just can't do both <laughs> i don't think so it's actually number five on my own number six do you drink coffee ask yourself that question because i feel like coffee is such a factor to a lot of people's stress a lot of people i know drink coffee and then they're just always stressed and i'm like it's because you're unbalanced babe like <laughs> you ain't been drinking enough water you need to kind of break it up i drink coffee like once in a blue moon or if i find that i'm drinking loads of it i kind of try to make sure that i drink a lot of water to like flush my system because i feel like coffee it can add to the anxiety it can add to stress and it can add to depression and i i've got anxiety and i feel like for me coffee kind of it irritates it like an open wound so i try to stay clear of it and then um, like if you find it hard to drink water maybe try and make drinking water interesting like i've got this bottle here and it's so cute and it keeps my water so cold so when i'm like at church or something or i'm at i'm studying or i'm just in a situation where like i'm just mad like i need to stay awake like i'm i need to stay awake I had this and I fill it up with freezing cold water. It's got my lipstick on it. And like, you can look inside. I don't know what the science is of it, but it keeps your water so cold. Like, sometimes I forget that the water is cold. So I'm, I drink it and then I'm like, Good. so yeah, exchange coffee for water and get one of these. They're about 15 pounds. You can get it in WH Smiths or you can order one off Amazon for probably a bit cheaper. If, you're, if you don't want to spend too much money number seven would be speak to a counselor i think a lot of people are a little bit scared to speak to a counselor you could go to your pastor or your religious leader and you know if you trust them or if they trust you whatever whichever works <laughs> and see if you know you can talk to them about your stress because they're most likely going to have something really beautiful to give back to you to receive for you to take home and run your race of life. Number eight, maybe try some supplements or just eat more fruit and veg. <laughs> Cause I feel like when you're alert, yeah, like when your body is full of nutrients and it's full of energy, um, it adds a lot to your mindset like and your obstacles. So maybe think about taking supplements or taking some more fruit or eating more vegetables, um, maybe cutting back on a bit of meat, just balance it out. Like a man told me once, have three days of meat and two days of vegetables. So be a vegetarian for two days and then meat the rest of the days or whatever. Cut down on the fast food. 
because fast food again everything adds it all adds it's the factors all the factors sometimes it's not the situation it's just that we're not taking care of ourselves and we need to just so we can have our minds like that i'm so much more productive now that i'm drinking more water and eating more vegetables and fruit and if you don't like fruit another thing that i've learned on the way as well is to make smoothies invest in a smoothie maker making machine or I don't know if you want to squeeze your juice, like whichever one floats your bubble, do something like that at least twice a week. Because I know for me, sometimes I'm like, bro, oh, like I haven't eaten fruit in time. But I'm trying to look, my skin's glowing. So, I mean, it's working. And my hair just grows so quick. At the moment, I'm trying to grow it out, grow out my blonde and I'm going back to my natural hair we're gonna save that for another video okay because I know everyone's like why is her roots okay we'll save that for another video number nine is very important to me it's helped me a lot with stress is I've noticed when I'm not around like negative people I'm thriving when a negative person comes along it's like they're just like the biggest distractions of your life like now I'm saying this you're gonna become more aware of it negative people live at your time with them like um my, one of my aunties told me that <laughs> i have to laugh because it's such good advice but she says that like she just she will limit her time and then she will say she'll go go to have a meeting and sometimes having a meeting and leaving negative people means that you're going to have a meeting with yourself because their energy and their behavior is just so mind-blowingly stressful and annoying that you just have to kind of like screw curve and just yeah that's a good way to avoid and deal with stress is just staying away from negative people or people who are going to add to the stress that you're already dealing with just avoid those people you know like some people say you gotta face it yes you can face it and one way of facing negative people is just going like this <laughs> bye felicia sorry and then you can crack on and trust me like the amount of things i'm doing yeah because i've literally got to the stage where i'm just like i am not listening to you you just you're just negative you've got black cloud the sun shines over there bye number 10 is create fun create like in, when you're feeling stressed maybe you've just not been having a lot of fun because i find that i get stressed when like i'm doing too much productivity and there's no pause to like go and dance or you know um i don't know like, I, I enjoy going to the gym and i love like chilling with my friends i love um singing <laughs> i love creating memories um taking pictures I'm a little bit... <laughs> just do something that's fun go to the museum um go in the london eye someone was saying the other day that they wanted to climb the o2 which i wasn't really on because like it was raining and i was like anybody gets up that? but that's still a fun thing to do you know and that could kind of like take your mind away from the workload which could be like this <laughs> so yeah try number 10 um create memories and have fun but yeah that is my um, 10 ways of how to deal with stress, get rid of stress, or just cope with the stress. I hope that is helpful, and I hope that um, it's enough information to get you through the working week or um, <laughs> your creative time or your projects that you're dealing with or family or what have you. Thank you so much again for watching and please subscribe and let me know what you think and add what you would do as well to deal with stress or get rid of it or cope with it below. And thank you for watching. Bye.